Hi, this is Rajay Anand, and welcome to Science Classes from ExcelUp.com. In this lesson, you will be learning about conservation of plants and animals. You will learn about the importance of forest. Then you will learn about the causes and effects of deforestation. You will learn about protected areas and various types of protected areas then you will learn about species and different types of species from uh, perspective of conservation importance of forest it is needless to reiterate that forests are of high importance for us because they play a significant role in protecting our environment forests provide shelter to many animals small creatures microbes then forest helps in precipitation because by way of transpiration trees contribute a lot in atmospheric moisture forests take up carbon dioxide when plants carry out photos photosynthesis and then they give off oxygen by doing so forests maintain the balance between carbon dioxide and oxygen in atmosphere you have read in your earlier lessons that trees hold the top soil in place and that is how a uh, forest prevents soil erosion then forest improves soil fertility as well because various dead remains in the forest like fallen leaves dead creatures they turn into humus after decomposition and this helps in uh, improving soil fertility the roots of trees they make soil porous and thus forests help in natural recharge of groundwater deforestation clearing of forest for human needs is called deforestation there are various causes of deforestation and some of them are given here we need new land for cultivation to feed the ever growing population we need new houses factories to be built then new railway lines roads are constructed dams are constructed and for that we require land and for this forest is cleared then wood is required for making furniture wood is also required for uh, kitchen fuel in uh, rural areas uh, grazing of cattle is another important uh, region of deforestation let us now see what are the effects of deforestation the deforestation results in increase of level of carbon dioxide in atmosphere which leads to global warming then deforestation results in reduction in ground water that leads to reduction in water table deforestation also results in reduction in rainfall uh, soil fertility uh, reduces then deforestation results in increased instances of droughts and floods and finally in some cases deforestation may lead to desertification desertification is the process of conversion of green area into desert protected areas <coughs> these are the areas which are declared by the government so that conservation efforts can be carried out in certain demarcated areas various rules methods uh, policies they are formed by the government to protect and conserve plants and animals there is a dedicated department in india for this purpose and that is called the forest department types of protected areas there are three types uh, one is called sanctuary another is called national park and biosphere reserve many of you may be having confusion who, while uh, trying to memorize the difference between sanctuary and national park uh, here i have tried to 
make it as simple as possible sanctuary is an area where only animals get protection okay the key word is animals national park is an area where apart from animals that is fauna uh, plants that is flora they also get protection and in addition to them the landscape of that area historic objects of that area all of them they are protected biosphere is a bigger area which contains sanctuary and national park this venn diagram it shows biosphere reserve in the bigger circle in dark green color then sanctuary is shown in smaller circle in light green color and national park is shown in sky blue color so this will help you uh, in differentiating between sanctuary and national park this is the map of pachmadi biosphere reserve as given in your textbook pachmadi biosphere reserve is in uh, the forest of satpura and this is the biosphere reserve as shown by the bigger circle and this contains sanctuaries and nest, uh, national parks so there is pachmadi sanctuary over here bori wildlife sanctuary is here then satpura national park is here okay so sanctuary is for mean for protection of animals only uh, national parks they are mean for protection of animals plants landscape and historical objects species the definition of species is that members of species should be able to interbreed among themselves to reproduce fertile offspring so interbreeding and fertile offspring these are the keywords uh, to understand it you can take the example of mule mule is the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse okay so both of them horse and donkey they are different species so donkeys and horses they are able to interbreed but the offspring uh, that is mule is generally infertile it cannot breed there are very rare examples of uh, mule producing an offspring now from the perspective of uh, conservation species can be of various types so here uh, i have taken three types endemic species uh, endangered species and extinct species endemic species is the species which is found only in a selected geographical area so it is called the endemic species of that particular area so for example kangaroos they are endemic to australia they are not found anywhere else in the world in case of uh, satpura biosphere reserve the pachmadi biosphere reserve there are some endemic species like sal and wild mango these are the varieties of tree uh, bison is an animal then indian giant squirrel uh, flying squirrel as shown in this uh, diagram certain species uh, they are at a risk of becoming extinct because uh, their population has come to such a low level that it is very difficult to continue their uh, existence on this planet so elephant lion and wild buffalo are examples of uh, endangered species then there are species which are no longer present on this planet they are called extinct species so dinosaurs they are very famous uh, extinct species then uh, there is another example of dodo dodo was a bird which lived on uh, the islands of new zealand now they are extinct red data book red data book was first released in 1964 by iucn iucn stands for international union for conservation of nature and iucn frequently updates this red data book the latest update was in 2012 the actual name of this book is red list and there is a symbol of pug mark then there is a symbol of leaf and this is the logo of iucn okay different countries they also produce their own version of red data book so that the conservation authority uh, they can get uh, real time information about which species are now in danger which species are on the verge of extinction so that uh, they can take adequate steps for conservation of those species 
so let me recapitulate i talked about importance of forest then i talked about causes and effects of deforestation then i talked about protected areas and various types of protected areas including national parks uh, sanctuaries and biosphere reserve and i talked about species and about endemic species uh, endangered species extinct species at the end of the lesson i talked about the red data book that's all for this lesson thank you